Prime Minister called up an Islamic Development Bank group to take definite actions for repatriation of the Rohingyas. The 22nd session of the 10th Jatiyo Shangshot began at 5 p.m. today. And the size of the election time government will be a small one, said Obaidu Kader. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. I'm Fouza Roshan Akhtar with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today called up an Islamic Development Bank group to take definite actions for repatriation of the displaced Rohingya citizens of Myanmar to their home. She said Bangladesh has been protectively responding to the unprecedented humanitarian crisis by keeping its border open and accepting the large influx of forcibly displaced Rohingyas. The Prime Minister said this while inaugurating the Rohingya hub of the Islamic Development Bank in Dhaka today. Rohingyas are creating multifarious negative impacts on local community and ecosystem along with our own resources, the Prime Minister said. The 22nd session of the 10th Jatiyo Shangshot began at 5 p.m. today. President M. Abdul Hamid convened the session exercising his power based out upon him by Article 72 1 of the Constitution. Prior to the session, the Business Advisory Committee of Parliament held a meeting with the Speaker, Dr. Shirin Sharmi Chaudhry, in the chair. Earlier, the 21st session of incumbent Parliament was prorogued on July 12 last. A total of 22 bills, 11 new and 11 old, will be discussed in the section. The new bills include Road Transport Bill 28 and Digital Security Bill. The size of the election time government will be a small one, said by Avamalik General Secretary Obaidul Kader. He claimed that no passengers suffered following the party delegation's electioneering tour to the northern district by train yesterday. Obaidul Kader, the road transport minister, was talking to reporters at a press conference held at Sedpur Airport in Nilfamari in the today. The passengers spontaneously the party participated in the electionary programs organized at different railway sections in the northern districts, said the minister. BNP Senior Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizvi Ahmed the last that Avamilik used to exercise political programs through misuse of power. He also said that such a program is not acceptable in any way by the passenger's sufferings. He complained at a press conference in the capital's Snowyapolden Central Office. He also alleged that the government is not providing treatment to Khaled Zia to fulfill their evil motive. Rizvi Ahmed also criticized the establishment of a code in prison. Rab's mobile court has seized 115 tons of rice and flour of a central food go down in eight trucks during the sale of a black market. On the basis of a secret information, Rab kept falling trucks out of the central go down. The rice sold in the black market were immediately seized as soon as the five trucks were released. Later, three more flour and rice felling trucks were detained from the central go down. In this regard, the central go down manager, Humayun and go down in charge Mainu Rahman were arrested for interrogation. The court of magistrates Sarwar Alam said that case will be sued against them. Rab personnel arrested the owner of Faisal Ganjraj Paribahan over the murder of a one-year-old girl, Akifa Khatun. The detainee is identified as a journal of the age 63. Rabid said the law enforcers conducted a drive in a chill Tuli area under Katwali police station of Faridpur around 5.30 am on Sunday. Later, the accused was arrested from his residence on August 28. Akifa, daughter of Harun Rashid, received injuries after she fell from her mother, Rina Akhtaslap, when a bus hit the mother in the town. 
Later, the baby girl died at Dhaka Medical College Hospital on August 30. Later, victims of father Harun Rashid filed a case with the Kushtia Shadar Police Station. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News online, visit www.youtube.com slash News. And to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30pm. Don't forget to join with us till then. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.